we still have many areas of unmet need in urothelial cancer. A big one is what should we do with these immunologically cold tumors that don't respond well to immunotherapy? There's a lot of evidence suggesting that tumors that show evidence of some type of immune simulation, either through evidence of PDL1 expression, CD8 positive T cells, and a variety of other factors, including tumor mutation burden, may help predict which patients benefit from an immune checkpoint inhibitor. But at the moment, they don't entirely exclude which patients should not receive immunotherapy. But I think it's becoming clear there are patients who benefit from immunotherapy, but there's still a large population who do not benefit. And determining these mechanisms of resistance and finding novel therapies that overcome these resistance mechanisms will be very important to enhancing the immune response in these immunologically cold group of tumors. There has been a potential role for FGFR3 in the immunologically cold tumor. And there's currently several trials designed to test the concept whether FGFR3 altered tumors benefit more from FGF targeted therapy or from immunotherapy, and even trials combining FGF inhibitors with immunotherapy in this setting. So that is one potential target for this unmet need, yet there's still many additional patients who are not benefiting from immunotherapy, and we need to understand why those tumors are not responding and why those patients are not benefiting so we can learn how to treat them more effectively.